dance and up there. You're not allowed to dance. You're joking, who told you that? Of course you can dance. Did you be told that by, I mean, is that family member that I told you that? <laughs> <laughs> was it something when you came in here that a guy in a black suit say no dancing or as you were leaving the house did one of your kids go mom? <laughs> <laughs> no dancing. <laughs> I'm not saying the blame for what your family did. Ah, this is a song called Release. First, the Aztec Cameron's first album, Highland Our Brain, was all about, for me, it was all about the guitarist I was listening to and the bands I was trying to emulate. And as you get older, you get a wee bit, what, you get a wee bit adept. I mean, what a horrible fucking thing to be. Sorry, that's the way you get out. But I mean, you know, you get a bit adept to sort of melding all your influences and making it into a wee thing of your own. But I think when you're young and you make a record, you can just see them all just poking straight through, you just wear it well on your sleeve, you know, when you get a new record, not so much with MP3s, I suppose, but when you've got, like, you know, a record and you get on the bus, you want everyone to see, this is my thing, this is, represents me, this is what I'm about, you know, whether it's, you know, uh, could be uh, crocodiles by a corner by man, under your arm, or it might have been, uh, you know, You Can't Hide Your Love Forever, by uh, Edwin's Love Orange Juice, or whatever it was, that was your kind of thing, and because I made the album when I was quite young, I think I wanted to, wanted to wear my influences so everyone could see them. So this song is because I was really into a guitarist called Wes Montgomery. And uh, I went and found him. He's a beautiful jazz guitarist. And have you heard of Wes Montgomery? Yeah. He's like, with his, he's, he learned to play with his thumb because it, he could only rehearse late at night and because uh, he was working. And, uh, I didn't want to disturb his neighbors because I complained, you know, so. It's all very gentle like that. And that's why I wanted a big guitar like this as well. You know, to get more like him. But then I wanted to mix it into all the other punk thing that I was still holding on in. So, release was kind of supposed to be Wes Montgomery meets the Clash. <laughs> And uh, when you're older, you think it's a funny idea to do it, but when you're young, you think, yeah, of course that'll work. I'm just going to stick them together. Yeah, yeah. So this is what it, we came up with. Release.
watched him fall like magic in the street. 